I'm excited to see more of these. Mm -hmm. We've seen two of the three legs slash fingers, right? We still see the third one. What's up? How you doing? Here we are. The mountain behind me is Vermeo. And it's my favorite mountain of all time. My favorite mountain. I, I came here first time in 71. And I was just, I don't know, it's one of those like a magical place for me. It, it captured me and uh, it's never let go. Level, never. Never let go and dead. Um, so 71, I was really young and wanted to go up there. And everybody's like, up there, you can't go, it's too far came back again in 74 got the same response they made it sound like you know you were going uh you know halfway to the moon 77 i was here again a little bit older now really wanted to go up but they said no no it's too far you know nobody goes up there came back in 83 could not go up came back in 85 and in 85 i was you know i was conditioned now to believe that couldn't go there you know, I was like the elephant, the baby elephant with the string attached to its uh, leg. And then, you know, the strings attached to uh, some spike in the ground and it tries and tries and it can't pull it, you know, break it. And the elephant gets to be big and they still have that same string, but now it's been conditioned to believe that it can't escape the string, so it doesn't even try. So in 85, I jokingly, not jokingly, but I kind of said it, you know, that uh, I like to go up there, you know, to the mountain, the, the bald spots. And somebody who was near me heard, and he goes, you want to go up there? I go, yeah. He goes, I'll take you. And I thought they were kidding, but they, they weren't kidding. And they said, 4 o'clock tomorrow in the morning, be ready, and we're going up. So I went to a place uh, in town that makes really, really good sandwiches, like on the press, panini press. I got two of them, and I got a beverage and all that, and then the next day I was ready. There's tons of spring uh, water up there, so you don't really need to bring your own water because it's all over the place. But anyway, so we started hiking up, and um, we ended up at the top top in the bald spots. It was beautiful. First you see trees, 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 and then all of a sudden the next second you look around, it's all clear. So we, uh, we spent some time up there, and uh, I had a blast and um came down took some pictures before we came down and i was just fascinated i mean I, it's to this day my favorite mountain anywhere in the world so 85 happened and then many many years went by hadn't been back but in two, 2006 i came here with my wife 2006 21 years after and uh <laughs> I said to someone, I said, I'd like to go up there. And now, the, now there's a road that brings you even higher up than what we went to in 85. So they said, oh, I'll take you there. So they picked me up at around 6. Maybe it was like 5. I remember it was like pitch black out. And we went all the way to the top, and it was very, uh, the clouds were low. So the whole top area was foggy. And uh, there's a little tiny church up there. And there were a few people gathered around there at the church, you know, a really small church made out of rock. And there was a guy there from the local newspaper, and he snapped a picture, and I ended up being in the, uh, in the newspaper for that, uh, that day. Um, and I have a copy somewhere. But, um, and then we walked from the first ball spot all the way over to the uh, third one. And uh, it's all limestone up there, but... Like I said, for it me, like dirt. Uh, it's a magical place. It's always captured my imagination. And even today when I'm standing here, I'm thinking of being up there. So, you know, and the year right now, in case this is seen time for a certain amount of time has passed when this is seen, is 2023 and it's July. So, and, and we're in a nice area here. It's, uh, it's all farmland. It's, it's all, hidden away. It's, it's like hidden quiet. away. There's, uh, there's peach trees and there's, uh, there's a walnut tree. And I have a funny story about a walnut tree I'm going to mention real quickly. So when I was here in 83, 
Uh, we went down to a place where my grandfather wanted to get some uh, grapes and stuff. So I found a walnut tree there and I grabbed the walnuts and, you know, anybody knows anything about walnuts, when you peel the skin, it, there's a dye, there's a liquid in there and it stains your fingers. And the more you touch it, the darker the stain becomes. So the day before I was flying away back home, uh, I decided that I was going to, you know, mess around with the walnuts and I made both hands look like, you know, I painted them brown, like dark, dark brown. Or you went to change the oil. Yeah, oil. or I was working in a mechanic shop and my hands were all greased up. So my grandfather's looking at me, he goes, that's not going to come off. I go, I know, I don't care. But I didn't care then, but the next day I was flying, you know, on TWA and, oh. yeah, and, uh, my hands were like ridiculous. I mean, it looked like I hadn't washed them for a couple of months. So anytime a, an air maid would come to me and say, would you like something to drink? The first thing that they would look at, they'd make eye contact with my hands and they'd look and be like, what's going on? As a matter of fact, when I was here the, the night before I left, some of the kids I was hanging around with back then, they were like, hey, you don't wash your hands. I'm like, walnut, walnut uh, dye. So it took... I don't know, it took about 10 days before they totally cleared up, you know, but yeah, it, it starts off with a, with a light yellow, you know. And then it gets like yeah. a, a brown. And then it gets darker and darker, and I did layer after layer after layer. I mean, I would let it dry, and then I'd, I'd add another layer. And that, that'd be like, um, if you don't have anything to draw with peel it off a bit but try your best not to get it on your hand and then just like well, color with it you can, yeah if you squeeze the skin of that you can collect a good amount you can probably use it as a you know painting dye yeah like you had a paintbrush and just right so that's what happened and i had a fly on that plane looking like that and my hands were the center of attention everybody who passed by would glance down at my hands as if the word went around they said that guy up there sitting on that check out his hands they look like I painted them, you know, with, with, uh, you know, some dark brown paint. But yeah, there's a walnut tree over here and I was just showing my daughter, Amanda, uh, what that tree uh, looks like and, uh, the dye inside the skin. Now I know why they look brown after yes. the, the production. So anyway, it's pretty hot. I mean, I can feel the sun. It's pretty hot here. So I'm going to go back, uh, get a beverage and, um, see what happens after that. And it's just very beautiful. It's very beautiful. What's up? How you doing? Here we are on top of the mountain. Beautiful up here. And when you breathe in, you smell oregano. It smells like, I don't know, some oregano up here. Very refreshing. So, um, we're going to start heading down now because uh, it's going to start getting dark. I know it doesn't look like it, but it will. What's up? How you doing? Here we are. Um, we're in Greece right now, and that right there is my favorite mountain of all time. Love that mountain. It's magical to me. So, I'm enjoying it.